everybody and welcome back to Fujit Blitz and today we're going to look at the Defender Mark 1, the British Tier 8 premium tank. It's a medium and it's now in the store and we'll look into that but you can get it in two packages. It's a Defender series so it's a fantasy tank and it's a medium tank so now we've got a TD with the T28, we've got the IS-3 in the heavy and we've got the Mark 1 as the medium. To me, it looks like it's a Centurion turret smacked on a modified Centurion hull. It's a funky looking tank, but it is a fantasy tank. How do you get this? Well, it comes in two bundles. You can either get all three of them for 25,000 gold, that includes the IS-3 and the T-28, or this one on its own. Now, word of warning, when you get it on its own, guys, it comes with no equipment, just a slot and camo. What about the tank? Well, pretty decent damage. Rate of fire looks low, but we'll get to that. Penetration is not too bad. Armor, uh, we'll get to that. Speed is okay. And basically the rotation is not too bad. Hit points, it's got 1,450. As you can see here, it's got no armor except on the turret. Not a bad view range, 302 meters. Concealment is just, well, it's pretty average or just below average. DPM, it's not too bad. It's got four shells in the magazine and it's got really good burst as we will see when we look at the replays. The pen and the damage that you're knocking out isn't too bad. Like I said, we'll look at that more closer when we play the game. Aiming time, well, 2.6. It sounds like actually it's not. I mean, it's a great aiming time. It's got a whopping 10 degrees of depression and 18 degrees of elevation, which is really nice. It's got a pretty decent top speed. 46 forward, 20 going backwards. It's, for all intents and purposes, actually a really nice tank. Um, I like it. Uh, the price, um, 25 for three tanks. If you haven't got them, isn't too bad. 15, eh, ooh, that's a bit steep for a tier 8. Looking at the ammo, you can see here pen values 215 to 237 with your damage output 143 to 236 on your standard. Pen goes up with the APCR, but the damage obviously goes down and the HE is not too bad. That's what I normally run it with. I'm running it with that loadout. Change there being that I, I've put in the engine boost. Armor wise, you can see here, it's got some good spaced armor on the turret. The mantlet is rock solid. The turret is where all the armor is. That's why you have 10 degrees of gun depression, you can see here. It's a good side scraper. You can side scrape in it. Um, the hull is pretty paper thin. This is it facing off against an IS-3. What's it like to play? Well, I'll be honest with you. I like it. It's a nice tank. Do I like the price? Well, firstly, 15,000 gold for a tier eight is better than $50, $50 for a tier eight, I guess. But it's still a bit pricey, that 15,000. Uh, it's going to be pricey because obviously it's a new tank. But at least it's not in crates and at least it's, in, it's for gold. You know, so they're not asking you to splash out cash. So if you like these series of tanks and you like your tier 8 mediums and you've got 15,000 gold just, you know, knocking around, this tank is worth a look. I like it. I mean, I think the gun is fantastic. The maneuverability is actually quite good. You do get bounces off it, but the thing that makes this tank is the gun. It's okay. It seems that the four that you know the four shell um, clip takes a long time to load, sixteen odd seconds. It's actually not. It, it's actually quite nice. It it doesn't feel as long as it sounds. Funnily enough, and you generally don't have struggle you don't struggle to pen anything there's a vindicator in this game which is obviously notorious for you know people not being able to pen it frontally we're gonna go up against that vindicator later and you will see this tank does not have an issue with penetration i like the tank i think it's a really nice tank i've played a few games in it i played a few ratings battles in it actually just to see what it was like this was one of the ratings battles i played um, I know it's a fantasy tank, and I know, you know, the diehards out there don't like the fantasy tank series, but if, if you like your tier 8 mediums, and you like, you know, there's the Vindicator, look, we're going to bang in there, but miss, but look at the, look, look at the aim on this, I mean, it's a fantastic gun, and you're gonna, 
is quite good. He, you know, he knows what he's doing, bless him. He really does, unlike some of them. But anyway, getting back to it. Yes, okay, it's a fantasy tank. I get that. I understand that the purists amongst you won't, you know, be overwhelmed with this tank. But it is a nice tank for tier 8. It, you know, it, it, I think it's... I like it more than I like the IS-3 and the T-28 Defender, to be honest with you. That may change, as I settle in. I mean, I was lucky enough to be top-tier tank in all the games I played today. Uh, and I'm not showing you all the replays, um, obviously. But I like it. It's manoeuvrability. It, it's got a low profile. It does play pretty much... You, you've got to play it all down, to be fair. You can be penned all over. I mean, the hull is paper thin. The turret is nice and bouncy. But the thing that makes this tank is the gun. I do like the gun. However, uh, I'm still struggling to tell you to part with your 15,000 gold, to be honest with you. I mean, okay, I had some good battles in this thing. You know, got some decent medals. Didn't get a mastery. It's only just come out, and all the big boys have already got it. And obviously, you know, the press accounts have already taken the masteries and set the bar high. So, you know, I didn't get a mastery in it, but pretty darn close, I think. Thing is about this tank, okay, it's another tier eight. It's a medium, and it's a nice addition to this Defender series that uh, Wargaming brought out. It's nice to have a, a medium in that series, and it's a nice medium to have. So put aside your purest heart. If you do like medium tanks and you like British tanks, then this this is worth a look. I'm telling you, it is worth a look. It's not OP by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it's easily defeated and countered. It's just a generally all-round nice tank. I think it's pretty balanced. To be honest with you, you know, you're not dishing out oodles of damage. The burst is nice. I mean, on the burst, you, you've got a lot. But then you've got that big reload. I mean, we're going up here against the Vindicator. Bless him. He, he shoots the rock. We're having no problem putting that little hatch on the top. And we get away with, what, 3,500 or damage. You're thinking that you're going to get a decent medal there, but you don't. You just get a second class. That's the way it rumbles, 3,479 damage, but I got 55 ratings points, which is always a nice addition. Anyway, this was, I think, my first battle rolling out on the new map, which, you know, it's a nice map. It's a bit small. I still think it's wastelands in disguise. But, you know, because I, I sort of did a training room on the map and I've hit the map pretty hard, I, I, I know the map and it's, it's, it's a nice map once you know it. And if you're hauled down with a good gun depression tank, boy, this map is a beast for you. And it's a medium tank with gun depression's dream. And I loved, you know, this was the first game, and I really enjoyed playing this tank. I'm still going back to that 15,000 gold, though. It's better than crates. It's better than cash. It's a steep amount to pay, I admit. You know, it's a lot of gold for a tier 8 medium for all intents and purposes. But what are you getting for it? I mean, you're not getting all the equipment unlocked. You're just getting um, the avatar and the garage slot and the tank. And let's be honest, you're only buying the bloody avatar anyway, really. Uh, would I buy this tank? Well, I have bought this tank, but I bought this tank for other reasons. If I was in, you know, average player, in normal player's position, would I look at this tank? Would I play this tank a lot? Actually, you know, now I've tried it, I think I would play this tank a lot because it's a nice medium. It's, it really is a nice medium. It's got a fantastic gun. And as you can see there, I mean, the aim time is good. The reload isn't bad for this four clip magazine and you're not struggling to pen. You know, I'm just hoping they don't nerf it at some stage because that would be a sin. I like it, and you know, unlike some of the other defenders, like the T twenty eight, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually buy the T twenty eight again. It was a disappointing tank for me. The IS three, well, that's a nice tank, but it's got an exceptionally long reload. This I like. However, if you haven't got the other two tanks, then my advice is. Spend the extra 10,000 gold, guys, because you're going to get all the equipment unlocked and you're going to get three 
tier 8 tanks. 15,000 for one tank? Mm, 25 for three? It's a bargain, to be fair. But that's if you haven't got the other two and you want to look at the Defender series. As I said, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the T28 Defender. I was when it first came out, but then I haven't played it for a long time since. The IS-3 Defender, okay, it's a it's a beast. I mean, it's, it's got trolley armor, um, but it's got an excessively long reload. And it's not, you, tr you know, it's not a true heavy in that respect. This is a true medium. I mean, you can throw this tank around. The, the, the reload of the magazine isn't as long as it feels, or oh, sorry, isn't as long as it sounds. It feels shorter, to be honest with you. Mainly, mainly because you've got four rounds in the, in, the, in, the, in the magazine rather than three. And that's probably why it feels like the Defender takes a bit longer. But as you can see, I haven't struggled to pen anything here. Um, I, I, I've got a WZ smacking me left, right and centre. But look at this. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm unloading the full clip into that poor Black Prince. And it's nice. It's a nice tank. Uh, it, it really is worth a look. Seriously, it is worth a look. And like I said, if you haven't got any of the other two, then you know, I have the money, the, the, i.e. the gold. Then seriously, I would drop the 25,000 to get three rather than 15 to get one. Because you get all the equipment unlocked, which is a big deal when you start getting to tier 8, because it gets expensive. I can't rage about this tank anymore. I mean, I mean it's, it's, it's not a bad tank. It's a nice medium. And it's more forgiving than the, the IS-3 and the T-28. I'm sorry about the jumping here. I mean, I've had the replays a bit glitchy since the update for some reason. I, I, I don't know why. But I, I, you know, this is a bit more forgiving than the IS-3 and the T-28 Defender. And if you like your mediums, as I said, and you like your British tanks, and you like your gun depression tanks, this is the tank for you. It really is. It's a good addition to Tier 8, despite the fact it is a fantasy tank. I mean, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed rolling out with it. I had fun with it. Um, and I'd do it again. And I'd do it again a lot more regularly than I did the T-28, to be perfectly honest with you. So, in this game, there we go, we did, what, 3,000, um, three, just over 3,000, took four kills, got a first class, nice tank. Anyway, I've been Fujit, that has been the Defender Mark I, the latest premium to hit the stores. It's a British medium tank, going for 15,000 gold on its own, with no equipment unlocked, or 25,000 as part of the package of all of the Defender series, the IS-3 and the T-28 which all three tanks have all the equipment unlocked. By all means, send me your replays. If you've got any to fujitsblitz at gmail.com or post them to your Discord. I'd love to hear your comments, um, you know, like and all that sort of jazz. If you haven't yet, please press subscribe. It's a lovely thing to do. And until the next time, I'll stay my usual stuff. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking, because that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.